my age and my position, um, when I first went into non-league, it was kind of hard to find a team where they could give me minutes. Well, understandably, um, I was, what, 18, 19, you know, playing centre half, not a lot of non-league teams are looking for that. So I just needed someone on a Sunday where I could just keep myself fit and get back to enjoying football, really. Skip. Yes, bro. <laughs> if, if anyone can, or it can. <laughs> I signed an early pro at Salford when I was 16, turning 17, signed a two-year pro there. Before that, I was in the youth team for um, AFC Wimbledon. I joined when I was 13, obviously left when I was 16. Obviously, my time at Wimbledon and Salford were flat sick. I loved Wimbledon, obviously, it was my local club at the time. You know, I've done fairly decent, which, you know, warranted me going to Salford on a pro. And then when I went to Salford again, it was another very good experience because he moved up to Manchester on my own, you know, going digs. I felt like I'd done fairly decent, man, mostly with the 23s, training with the first team quite a bit, and it was a very, a very, very good experience. And obviously now I've um, dropped into non-league and, you know, trying to find my way there, really. Um, so Cerny's a brilliant lad to work with. His attitude and commitment to training and to games, fantastic perfect kind of, or perfect footballer to work with as a football coach. Um, want, ask questions, wants to take on information and a real keen learner who I can only see pushing on um, through the levels. I think it is harder for them um, because I think the younger generation's more about social media, being on their phones a lot and things like that. That, that side of it, on cameras, YouTube, that side of things. And a lot of the older generation that are still playing are very much old school, um, loads of banter in the change room. So for, for some of the younger guys, it is hard, but it's also quite easy to go and fit in. And, and I think Cerny's found his feet with that. He gets involved in a little bit of banter. He's never going to be the front runner compared to some of the boys in that changing room, but it makes a tight group and tight groups achieve things. on his own. Yes, sir. Every stage of my journey so far have helped me in different ways in terms of my career, do you know what I mean? So like, for example, non-league football now, one thing I've learned massively is just being efficient and consistent. No matter what type of game it is, who you're playing against, what position you're playing, you just got to be effective and make sure you're keeping that shirt because, you know, in non league, if you're not performing, you could be out in the next minute. However, for, you know, when I was at Wimbledon and Salford, it was more of a, a developing phase where you're understanding what you're good at and, you know, games don't really matter as much, but they do allow you to go through that development phase. Obviously, when I was at Salford, I was the only player my age who got a pro when I did. Without knowing, it did get to my head. Obviously, I still worked hard. I've always been a hard worker, but maybe my attitude towards certain things was the best. So, for example, not wanting to, you know, go out on loan because, again, I'm not knowing long league. I was 17, thinking oh, I can't go on loan to these type of levels because I think I'm, I deserve to be at this certain place. But this is me not knowing, being naive, not knowing that it's something that I have to do. That every player. Um, young player like myself has to do, you know, dropping down to the lower levels to prove yourself. If I'm honest, that is what led me to not being at Salford anymore. I still had that sort of arrogance towards non-league in terms of like, oh, this is going to be easy, but boy, it's been the complete opposite. I've had very humbling moments, you know what I mean, where I'm looking at a player thinking that you're dead, but then next thing you know, five minutes into the game, he's put me into Rose Ed, do you know what I mean? I've had to mature quite a lot in non league and I've again I've loved my journey in non league so far. You know, I've got players on my team or the teams I've played for, they've got kids and you know are 10 years, 15 years older than me. These are all people I can learn from. So yeah, it's just about taking away that arrogance and just understanding that my journey is my journey and just trying to see like, how far I can get. Just one. Three points quickly. So we're going to get three points. So it's going to be a good game. Two shit goals conceded though, man. I'm not happy about that, but we go again, man. Dubs again. Yeah, good um, win, man. Literally. Big one. Serious. How, how did you feel when you got winded? Oh, I don't know if we got that on camera. Yeah. He lifted me. I thought I was done. I thought I was done. But I saw you were struggling for something. I was something. done. I was done. But if it got me the dub, it got me the dub. I'll take that.